episode 76, this is Jim. And if you're seeing this uh, Wild Mountain Rifle Range prefab where the Pittsburgh Palace was, you are correct. If you've been watching along the last couple weeks, I actually had to use my other camp here near the side of the lake because I found the candy bowl was stuck underneath the Pittsburgh Palace frame prefab frame. So I spent about an hour yesterday trying to kind of move it around and trying to recover that candy bowl because I, I kind of felt bad that I couldn't use the uh, Pittsburgh Palace and um, people were looking for the candy bowl of course and, and it was stuck underneath the prefab which kind of sucked. But uh, I thought well so what I had to do is I had to pretty much take everything, uh, store everything and then dismantle things and then I thought well let's try the uh, Wild Mountain Rifle Range for a little bit and uh, we'll see how it goes um, but I really I, I would like to use the Pittsburgh Palace maybe another camp location uh, but I, I'm starting to like this uh, Wild Mountain Rifle Range prefab it's pretty nice um, there are a few things that are the same like this little section here with this tree and this barrier then on the other side, this wasn't really attached to the uh, Pittsburgh Palace. Was um, these plants here in this well, the scarecrow and such. So that stuff is pretty much the same as what it was before. Um, I did use the fusion core generator up there to power everything up, and then I had to kind of use these junk fences to kind of barricade. Uh, it still gets shot at by the. Uh, Super mutants or scorch that kind of spawn in over there. Kind of annoying, but what can you do, right? Um, I don't know about you folks, but when I make a camp, I like to kind of set it up in a way where the players are visiting your camp. They have everything at their fingertips. So they have the uh, vending machines, they have a stash box, they have, you know, of course, the candy bolt for this time of year. They have a symptomatic in case they have, don't have any disease cure on them shelters right there um just because sometimes there are some dailies you know visit another player's shelter or stuff like that or you know uh buy or sell something from another player right so then they have their stash box here so everything is right here and uh one stop shop kind of thing and uh put the uh, hello open signs up there which are pretty nice to kind of stand out and I uh, incorporated some new stuff that's uh, that I just recently got. Some old stuff, of course. Get some of these machines here that help with your luck and your endurance and your agility, your charisma, your strength, and uh, stuff like that. Um, I put the Nuka Cola guy in here because uh, wherever you're, wherever I'm at, I find he wants to stand on top of me. So that's why he's. Uh, cornered in that little fenced off area <laughs> and uh, you know of course you get to use the old ceremonial cannon here pretty cool uh, but it's real nice with the satellite dish up there looks nice up there um, I tried to look for the best kind of door the, bike, the security gate to me fits the best so far Jeez, open will ya alright but uh, everything fits down here really good and uh, just some decorations there. Wall decorations. Nothing too, too much. You know what I mean? And not too cluttered. Just enough of stuff. Get my little bed there. And scrap box. And little decorations. Um, so basically all your workbenches are here. And um, if you have your workbenches too close. You won't be able to interact with them. So uh, there's enough room down here. That uh, you can interact with all these workbenches, just the way they're placed right here. So it's pretty, pretty sharp, and uh, it's nice. I like it. And then you know some room for some other kind of decorations, wall decorations and such. But yeah, what do you guys think? Pretty cool. I think it's all right. You know, everything fits in this one little area. You're not searching around for it, looking for it. Uh, really, I get nothing else on the other side. It's just kind of bare because the enemies are just going to shoot it apart anyway. So that's why there's nothing, nothing on this side. 
but uh, but that's fine. Everything you need to interact with is right over here anyway. So, so what do you guys think? I'll keep this for a little while. Um, I do have other two two other camp locations, and I may incorporate the uh, Pittsburgh Palace in uh, one of them, or just move a camp. We'll see what happens in the future. Um, but what do you guys think? Do you guys like it? If you guys don't like it, you're unsure, just let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and share when you have the chance because it really helps me out. And I hope you all have a nice day.